thoroughly confused by this game. Hi, everyone. We're from MyGamer.com. <laughs> yeah, we're from a website called MyGamer.com. You can follow me on Twitter at ZachGaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And this week, we are playing Arctic Eggs. And, oh, man, I, you know, I have no idea what's going on. When you ask me, you know, hey, what game can we play today? And you're like, Arctic Eggs. I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> and I, I'm so confused. So please, enlighten us what, what this is, this newly released game that just came out. Well, you cook eggs for people in the Arctic. Simple enough. And so why are we cooking eggs uh, with the sausage that's about to, like, spill over? Uh, that they, they randomly will give you shit. Can, okay, thank you. Like, one one person asked me to fucking cook a cigarette. <laughs> How are you cooking? Like, I don't... Are you, like, tilting the mouse? What, what yeah, I'm moving there? the mouse back and forth it's slightly. Oh, okay. So to apply heat, you actually, like, just rotate the mouse. And what a weird like purposely bad art stuff like it's actually just kind of gross like these these character models like with like no face like a smushed demonic like ashy face look at that oh jesus <laughs> like yeah i'm not going to the arctic anytime soon holy cow dude now here we go let's cook that cigarette let's throw some bacon on there it's it's interesting because oh okay no but, like if it, it, uh, if if one of them looks like they're going out I normally just toss everything. It's interesting because the pan is just magically held in the air and it's cooking eggs. There's no heat source. Well, I think like the heat source a, is supposed to be the friction from. This is just a magic pan that can somehow summon heat yeah. <laughs> from the bottom of it. Look, man. That's what you're getting stuck up on. Not that some dude asked us to cook him a cigarette, or it's that crazy. he asked us to cook us bacon and eggs yeah. with a cigarette. With a cigarette. The I'm looking at the Steam page now, trying to figure this out because I am just I'm, I'm confused. I'm intrigued. I'm entertained already. But the the description of the game is one sentence. I don't think I've ever seen a Steam game. Where the description, like normally descriptions, like several paragraphs, they want to tell you about the features of the game, and also this is just one page, which is a, a sci-fi cooking game where you take on the role of a poultry peddler stuck in Antarctica, longing for a way out. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, that about sums it up. Thank you, you know, very brief <laughs> explanation on Steam. Yeah, and it like if you flick it just a little too hard, everything flies mm -hmm. out. Because you got to get both sides. Yes. And then so, but it doesn't seem like there's a punishment for not cooking things well. Like there's an infinite amount of eggs that just fall from the sky out of the self-heating pan. Well, if you drop them, you have to cook them again. Oh, seems very sensitive. It, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm still trying to get it. Yeah, yeah, I'm still trying to get it down. I want this this non-stick technology in real life. I mean, you've seen these commercials for these non-stick pans, but they are nothing like this. Uh, well, I mean, we had non-stick technology. It caused birth defects. We had to and, stop using it. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, that was a good, that was a good flick there. Is it like hotter in the middle or is it, it's all the same, right? It it's all the be, same. Yeah. Because you got that little red, uh, you know, circle thing. In yeah, the it normally would be hotter in the middle, but I don't think like you have to like move shit around constantly. So I don't know that that has anything to. The the good old bacon, egg, cigarette omelet to start your day. That cigarette's oh. gone. Yeah. I mean, I would think that would almost be like that would be the mini game is to like cook the egg and the bacon while flicking out the cigarette. Like there, like that would yeah. like that should be success. Like get rid of the bad thing. No, no, I I cooked it. <laughs> yeah. I I had to. Uh, <laughs> someone gave me a can of anchovies, and I had to cook it until it opened, and then flip it over. Come on! And you would think that the cigarette would somehow like light itself on fire if it's in a hot pan, but that is not the case. What is wrong with that dude's mouth? Is his jaw like isn't even attached to his face you keep asking these questions that i just don't have answers to and then why is there like uh, who's that like napoleon on that guy's shirt right there on the left like what what is that it's like a the bad christmas sweater party but like for real
What if you just left it there and like not? Oh, it'll it for burn. A while? So you definitely have to get both sides. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta you, wait for the. You gotta wait you for the egg one, to turn white. Yeah. If you cook one too much, it. And then you have to wait for the fake. Yeah, do that. Oh, okay, so it like it like flicks up. It like animates. Yeah. Uh, cigarette smoking. Gentle. There you go. That was a good one. So how do you know when it's done? It tells you or what? They'll take it from you. Oh, just when it's finished. You kind of got to get that one side of the bacon. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got a little greedy there. No, it, it, the cigarette was almost out. It, fuck. <laughs> the, if, if the cigarette goes out, you lose. When, uh, so now, are you tilting I don't the know, even know what happened there. Are you tilting the mouse left and right, or is it uh, up and down? Back, side to side. For, oh, okay, okay, so you're moving it in all directions, okay. Yeah. Are there any mice sensitivity settings? Maybe that's a problem. Yes, there are. This dude must be super hungry if he wants to eat a cooked cigarette. Well, like, not even that, but like... Yeah, you don't leave it there and just wait to have to do one flip. I have to move it. You always have to move it? Yeah, that's how you heat it. Because, mm. like, cooking in real life, you kind of just want to... You, you leave it there, you let it cook on its one side, you flip it once, and that's it. Like well, you don't yeah, flip, that, but, you know, is flip, real smash, life smash. and makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, we're not cooking in Antarctica for dudes that have no jaw with a, you know, William Shakespeare shirt on. What <laughs> even? What the fuck? And Sometimes what, I, I mean, swear you just like listening to me yell. And what? <laughs> What's going? Like, why are there armed guards in the background? With, like, I don't know. Mofa? This also, is so. Yeah, and you might be a robot. I don't know. <laughs> this is so fucked up. Who thinks of this kind of stuff? This is why. I'm gonna say Eastern Europeans. Oh my god! Like, I'm gonna see who is this? The Walter developer. The Walter. I'm sorry. The Water Museum is the developer and publisher. Overwhelmingly positive. This game came out last week. Ten dollar game. On sale for like six or seven now. Yeah, it's a uh, six. Yeah, six ninety nine, thirty percent off. Overwhelmingly positive <laughs> reviews. This isn't the first thing that you have to cook, though. This is this is kind of like I think the game a little bit. bit. Okay. Is it always eggs and bacon, or do you have to cook like steaks or? Well, I told you, I was cooking anchovies in a can earlier. <laughs> and then I had to flip the can to get the anchovies out. So we're not just cooking breakfast foods here. No. Oh, that was a good one. Uh. Yeah, because sometimes they, like, stack on top of each other and there's not a lot you can do. Exactly. And trust me, this is on easy. You're gonna get it. Don't worry. Be patient. You're gonna. You'll get there. Okay. There we go. We got the egg. Nice. See, look at that control. You got everything under control right now. Perfect flip. Cigarette moved a little bit, and get that bacon. Maybe. Whoa. Hello. The cigarette was falling off. I tried to save it. And... Yeah. It's like a weird reactive puzzle game cooking simulator horror game this is a horror game yeah I'm this pretty horrified I mean this is this is like they could just put this in like the next Silent Hill and like they're already halfway done <laughs> you're gonna be upset like all night this is disturbing this is super like who, what kind of a it, nothing makes sense at all <laughs> In this situation, we're cooking with the magical pan that just generates heat. We're cooking cigarettes. Okay. There's armed guards in the background. Just, just slow. A little bit. Oh, the egg is looking good. Just keep it there. There oh. it is. Look at this. Look at this guy with no face. Thank you. Five are still hungry. 
he doesn't need it. Don't even call. Oh, poor kids. Delightful. It's also interesting too because there's no UI. You just talk and like the the text just like floats in the air. Well, I, no I'm meters. clicking. Like I am clicking through the text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but there's not even like text bubbles. It's just like, you know, text just like slides into the screen. Thanks for helping out, asshole. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, ubiquitous. Ignore whatever you say. And tumultuous. We are hungry. Oh, two eggs. Three eggs. Four eggs. Yeah, I'm going to fuck this up. Like I said, as soon as I know one of them's going out of the pan, yeah. they all go out. See, the problem with this one is the eggs, like, they take up, like, the whole surface area of the pan. And you, if you're trying to flick the right side, you're not going to, like, it's not going to reach the left side. You know, like, it's, you got to do, like, almost like a double flip. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sunny side up. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right there. Oh. Stay in. Oh, maybe to come. No, just off the rim. Damn. <laughs> My you wife had... was watching me play this earlier you, you and, had... and like telling me, like being like, "Oh no, no!" I'm like, "What?" You, yeah, you were so. I mean, because you had three fourths of the eggs, you were doing good. Oh, see, that one's not getting the heat because it's on the other one. Yep. Yeah, like I said, sometimes shit stacks and you're just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what am, like, right there. Yeah. Almost. You know, there's this utensil that they use in cooking called a spatula. <laughs> I never thought I'd be angry at someone for not using a spatula. But here we are. Uh, I believe Zach has gone offline for just a minute. He should be back in any time. Or not. Oh, flip that guy. I gotta flip that guy. Come on! Zach wants to talk, and he's back, everyone. Say hello I'm, to him. I'm back. Yes, yeah, sorry. Something happened. You know, that's what happens when you stream sometimes. You get some technical difficulties, but I am I am back. I'm trying something different this time. You know, ah, oh, fuck, hell. <laughs> You know, they, they, they say, like, eggs are really hard to come by in the Arctic, and I'm just fucking... You're just, go, you're just burning through them. Yeah! I mean, it, eggs are even still kind of expensive today, even after COVID, you know, so... Like, you can only imagine what the price is in the Arctic. Well, they're supposed to be rare. Like, there, I guess there was a crackdown. There was lore behind it. Do I have it? Yeah. I'm not reading that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what do you think, sir? Yeah, I think it's, you know, if you want to play a game that's like absolutely ridiculous where like nothing makes any sense, but it's still kind of entertaining and kind of interesting, even though it's going to give you nightmares. Arctic eggs, man, here you go. Less than 10 bucks on sale for for right now on Steam. What it, do you it's, think? It's worth it. It's worth it. Because, like, it doesn't take itself seriously. It, yes, exactly. Yeah. 
it knows it knows exactly what it's doing but we are from a website called mygamer.com go there put us in your favorites we are covering the games that nobody else is covering like arctic eggs as well as so many others just browse our site for a couple minutes you'll be surprised i think because of all the all the content that we have on there from games and things that you've never even heard of before and then you could follow me on twitter at zach gaz z-a-c-k-g-a-z and until next time thank you for watching and game on